Hi everyone, I'm Vidya Nagarajan and I'm the product lead for Serverless on Google Cloud Platform. Thank you for having me here today. I'm going to talk about serverless products, particularly cloud functions and event arc for startups. This is a lightning talk, so I will move quickly. As an early stage company, your most precious resource is time. You probably need to focus your development efforts on where you are most differentiated. You need to get to market fast. The term data-driven organization should sound very familiar. For years, harnessing the power of data has been key to the success of organizations and is, of course, the new way forward. However, the nature of what it means to be data-driven is changing because the nature of business is changing and user expectations are changing. In today's fast-paced landscape, you need to react to data in time. Users expect action right away using timely, up-to-date, real-time data and insights. With that being said, I'm going to edit the previous statement to say, I want to create an event-driven organization. Building applications and systems that react immediately to changes in your environment or application provides re the real-time insights that users expect and that organizations depend on. With the above context, Cloud Functions is one of our serverless compute offerings where you can develop quickly and securely by writing and running small code snippets that respond to events. You get paper use, auto scaling, and in return, Google manages your infrastructure so that you can focus on your core business, which most likely isn't managing servers. Cloud Functions is the glue connecting cloud services. On the left side, you can see various events that happen in the world. And on the right side, you can see the services you can call into. Cloud Functions isn't just about connecting GCP services. You can post to a function endpoint from basically anywhere and respond by calling another endpoint outside Google Cloud. And the events are orchestrated by Google's serverless product event arc. Serverless computing can be leveraged to build powerful things. These include, but are not limited to, asynchronous large data processing pipelines. For example, a roadside camera captures images that are processed to extract the license plate number. Analytics, example, you can run near real-time analysis on files that are added to cloud storage by streaming data from cloud storage into BigQuery using Cloud Functions. Microservices orchestration to build modern event-driven applications to go to market quickly. Business process automation by managed execution of business processes. For example, a field technician uploads a code for a job using a mobile device, which triggers warehouse inventory checks. And lastly, cloud ops automation by programmatically provisioning, modifying, and deleting cloud resources. Many of these operations can be event-driven. So now let's take a look at what's new. Cloud Functions, the second generation, is in public preview. I'm excited about some of the key benefits around infrastructure enabled that include longer request processing. You can now run your Cloud Functions longer than the five minute default that was possible, up to 60 minutes, making it easier to run longer request workloads, such as processing large streams of data from GCS or BigQuery larger instances, leverage up to 16 gigabytes of RAM or four vCPUs on Cloud Functions, allowing in-memory, compute-intensive, and more parallel workloads. Concurrency, you can leverage up to 1,000 concurrent requests with a single function, minimizing cold starts and improving latency when scaling. Minimum instances, you can now provide for pre-warmed instances to cut your cold stats and make sure the bootstrap time of your application does not impact the application performance. Traffic splitting. You can now support multiple versions of your functions. Split the traffic between different versions and roll your function back to a prior version. Secrets Manager. Native integration with Cloud Secrets Manager is now available to get access to your secrets. 
you can additionally enjoy a broader event coverage and industry standard support for cloud events for a consistent development experience with the EventArc integration. EventArc brings over 90 plus sources using cloud audit logs. And of course, Cloud Function still supports events from your custom sources by publishing to Cloud Pubs Up directly. Additionally, EventArc comes with a new simple UI in the Cloud Console. Now let's go through a quick demo. The demo will walk you through a cloud function that performs lightweight ETL on a customer's checkout operation via Stripe, an updated dashboard on Google Sheets for your team's business analyst. And you can use Google Cloud's Secrets Manager to securely store your secrets, such as your Stripe API key and your endpoint secret. In this demo, Rob is the business analyst of a merchandising company selling different types of products has access to a revenue dashboard that tracks sales, revenue, and costs over time. The company has recently expanded sales from the west coast of the United States to the rest of the country. He is looking to spot trends, activities, and gather actionable insights in real time. Let's look at the building blocks for this operation. First, let's create a cloud function from the Google console. We'll call our function process stripe checkout. Although we're using an unauthenticated function, you'll see later how we can still verify that Stripe initiated the request. Minimum instances is a new feature that can dramatically improve the performance of your application, minimizing your cold starts. By specifying a minimum number of instances of your application to keep online during periods of low demand, you can eliminate startup latency. For this demo, let's keep one instance warm. We'll use a runtime environment variable for the Google Sheets ID so that we don't have to hard code it in our source code. We'll also use Secrets Manager for storing secrets. We have two secrets for this demo, the Stripe API key and the webhook secret. We're going to choose latest for the webhook secret. This means that once we get this secret from Stripe, we can update it in Secrets Manager without having to redeploy our function. Next, you can specify the runtime. For this demo, we'll use Node.js 14. And let's update the entry point with the name of the event handler that will execute whenever this cloud function is invoked. These first few lines are where we'll pull in the Stripe keys from Secrets Manager and the Google Sheets ID from the runtime environment variable. Because our cloud function is unauthenticated, we'll verify that the request came from Stripe. Since our custom dashboard requires more data than what Stripe provides by default, or as a part of, getting, of the Getting Started example, we'll make an additional call out to Stripe. And now we can perform some lightweight ETL. For example, grab just the salient info from the checkout object and formatted as appropriate. And lastly, insert the new row into our Google Sheet. Now let's deploy our function. Now that the function is ready, let's copy the endpoint URL for Stripe to call. Now we'll switch over to the Stripe dashboard to create the webhook that will invoke our cloud function whenever a checkout occurs. Let's add our function's endpoint and configure this webhook to fire when a successful checkout has completed event occurs.
Lastly, we'll copy the secret to verify that the request came from Stripe. Back in Secrets Manager in Google Cloud, we'll create a new version for the webhook secret. We'll use latest, so we do not have to redeploy our function or make any code changes. Now, let's see this in action. A customer, Jane, in Tennessee, is excited that the company has opened sales in her area. She visits the website. She makes a quick car purchase transacting online using her credit card. Rob, the business analyst in Google Sheets, can now see it update in real time because minimum instances in Cloud Functions was set to 1. There is already a warm instance ready to process the request. Rob sees a small blue dot in Tennessee to indicate the company's first sale there. And he also sees the revenue per product versus units change. And lastly, there is also a spike in revenue by date. As more sales from across the United States come in, Rob can see the Google Sheet dashboard update in real time. He confidently reports to his leadership that the planned expansion is a success, and indeed it is. Thank you. I hope you found this demo helpful. To summarize, serverless products from Google like Cloud Functions and EventArc accelerate your time to market. There are no servers to provision, manage, patch, or update. You pay only while your code runs. The system auto scales, it's highly available, it is fault tolerant, and Cloud Functions connects and extends cloud services that you use. I look forward to having you try out the new features we release to accelerate your time to value from the applications that you create and manage. Just write your code snippets and let Google Cloud take care of the rest for you. Thank you.